हेलो यूट्यूब व्हाट्सएप होप यू आर डूइंग वेल दिस इज मोहम्मद बदरुद्रजा वेलकम टू माय चैनल साइबर सेक्रेडार एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अनदर मॉड्यूल एंड द मॉड्यूल नेम इज सर्वर साइड टेम्पलेट इंजेक्शन सो इफ यू आर फॉलोइंग अलोंग विद मी द वेब सिक्योरिटी अकेडमी सो यू कैन इजली जस्ट गो टू द लर्निंग पाथ देर यू गेट थ्री सेक्शंस वन इज सर्वर साइड टॉपिक ऑल दीज टॉपिक्स वी ऑलरेडी कवर्ड द सेकेंड सेक्शन यू विल फाइंड फॉर द क्लाइंट साइड टॉपिक विच वी नीड टू डू and the third is going to be the advanced topic where you have server side vulnerabilities and client side vulnerabilities too but there we have server side template injections so i thought i should cover this first because we are already covering server side vulnerabilities so this is again a server side vulnerability so before going further this little disclaimer as always for you this video and its contents are only for educational and awareness purpose and i do not support any unethical or illegal act that's been said if you just if you did not subscribe the channel please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so you get the notifications on time so today i just want you to sit back uh, get a cup of tea and just sit back relax and listen and understand what exactly this vulnerability is all about fine so let's go so to understand server side template injection we first need to know what is a template and actually even if you cannot define what is a template but i am sure you know what is template because uh, in day to day life everything we see uh, mostly all these things in a form of template and especially in the applications whatever we see whatever the page rendered on our screen on the browser Uh, most of the time it is a template fine so what is template template is actually a sample document that has already some details in place as simple as that the template is a sample document now let's take a more practical example so let's say a website has submit complaint or submit feedback feature with the following field so whenever you are going to submit your complaint or submit a feedback you get a form on the web application and that form needs you to input uh, these details like your name your email address subject and the details right and then you have to click the submit button and once you click the submit button you you are going to land on another page where uh, they are going to mention that hello and after hello there is going to be the name what you submit on this form right so this is a variable so whatever you see in the dollar this is a variable so this is just an example to make you understand so whatever you submit the name here let's say uh, jonathan so here you will see hello jonathan or maybe you say um john wick so it is going to say hello john maybe it is only taking the first name so whatever is that but the concept here is they are going to pick what you submitted right and they just put that value here so hello jonathan we apologize for inconvenience your complaint is registered with us with this ticket number so ticket number is going to be anything let's say 112233 and then they are going to say you will also receive a confirmation email or confirmation mail on on this email so if you send here uh, if you say here let's say test at west dot loc so here they are going to put this email right and if you send here jonathan so they are going to put here your name fine so this is this is a template this is a template and they are just going to uh, replace these values fine because what happened maybe in a day or maybe in an hour they are getting hundreds of complaints so it is a bit difficult to make uh, to make this content for each and every customer no they just create a template and any customer comes to fill this form they are just going to pick the values from this form and put it here now once you receive this message on the web application you are going to receive an email also so even in email they are using a email template 
so the email template could be like this dear again the name name is going to be same whatever you submitted here and they are going to say we apologize for inconvenience your complaint is registered with the ticket number blah 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 and your our support team will reach you shortly and regards whatever so this is again a template so this is an example of email template fine so everything is template and they are just going to put the values whatever you submitted and here injection comes in the picture because if these values you can control then you can actually pass anything all those process is done on the server side by a unit of application named as template engine so now what is template engine template engine enables you to use template files in your application and in the runtime the template engine replaces variables in template file which with the actual value and transform uh, transform the template into an html file and then it will it is going to render on your browser now there are different different a lot of languages are there a lot of frameworks are there and for those framework there are different different kind of template engine so for php if you are using php you can use twig as the template engine okay but the natural template for php is not twig okay like laravel blade so if you are using php you can also use laravel blade and again it is not the natural template if you are using python so you can use jinja or jinja2 as your template engine and again for python this is not the natural template fine um, if you are using python similarly here django it is again a template engine for java and c sharp you can use apache velocity for java you can use epsilon generation language and this is actually the natural template for java similarly if you are using ruby you can use template engine as eruby and this is the natural template for eruby for java there are other bunch of uh, templates like freemaker and if you are using if you want to use the natural template for java you can use uh, theme leaf now if the application is vulnerable for server side template engine you can read files okay you can convert uh, this vulnerability into remote code execution and there are a lot of serious damages uh, could be there for the organization if their application is vulnerable to server side template engine injection right so that's been said uh, let's go and i'm going to show you uh, a little example of server side template injection so i'm going to write here a little python file user bin in let's say python 3 okay and here i'm going to say from string import um, template fine um, and let's say here I'm going to say template t is equal to template of oh, come on template and template is going to be welcome um, dollar name so name is a variable fine and finally just i'm going to print um, t dot substitute um, and the value of name is going to be let's say uh, jonathan so this is a template this is a template like this one this is the template 
where there is a fixed content which is welcome and a variable content which is name right and we are going to submit we are going to pass actually the value of this variable like jonathan so once it is going to render the result it is going to render this uh, this template with the message welcome and the name which is going to be the jonathan so i'm going to save it as let's say on the desktop sstipy ah uh, come on control x paste and just hit enter now come to the terminal here and let's say python3 uh, ssti.py and just hit enter um it should be substitute this one i so i'm going to copy this paste that save it um clear and execute that again and as you can see it is going to say welcome and then it's replaced the it placed the value of name variable as jonathan so up to now we just see how these template works and we get a high level knowledge about it but how we will test whether this template is vulnerable for the template injection so for this come back here and what i am going to do here is let's say if i say 7 into 7 so 7 into 7 7 multiplied by 7 is going to be 49 right so just save this and you will see the change and execute again and now you can see instead of jonathan we actually got value and this value is already calculated and this is the problem this is the serious problem because we calculate something from the server side so we put 7 into 7 if it comes same like this as a string no problem but now you can see it comes here with the calculated value the output is the calculated value that means we are performing something on the server side and server is performing that for us so this is the problem now if i say <coughs> let's say here instead of that if i say 7 into 7 like this save that and execute it again so now you can see seven seven times that means server is doing what we want and there you tested the server side template injection vulnerability so if you come here you can go on payload all the things and you can search here server side template injection this one right so if the application built on python you can test against the jinja template engine fine so this is the very good source another source is uh, you can go to <coughs> hectrix okay ssti and there also you will have uh, contents with the payloads and there are some examples too fine uh, and i would highly recommend to read all these contents okay this is going to be very very important for you so that's it i think for high level knowledge it's enough and uh, in the labs we will see more in depth uh, practical with the theory i will explain time by time uh, as we solve the lab So that's it for today's video. Uh thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.